What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic. Popped up early. About to go back to sleep. But, um, you know, it's uh, a lot of people posting the screenshot, but not the article of Eddie Hearn saying that Deontay Wilder turned down $10 million. Um, for some reason, I can't find an article on it. But, um, you know, let's just say it's true. You know, we obviously know that Deontay Wilder went on 7 Day Sports and shout out to him and said he wanted a 50 50 split. And um, $10 million uh, offer um, versus Anthony Joshua, the Deontay Wilder fight, um, you know, for Deontay Wilder, that might only be 80-20 split. You know, I think that might be, on the UK, that might only be an 80-20 split. Um, it might be a 70-30 split or something like that. I know uh, Joshua took home $20 million to Carlos Takam slash Bro uh, Brosworth Puev, you know, before he uh, got injured, $5 million. With Deontay Wilder, with a raised profile, um, I'm pretty sure, you know, that's only, I think that's still an 80-20 split because I, I feel that that's a bigger fight than to come. So what will Anthony Joshua make? About what, $30, $40 million to, to Deontay Wilder's $10 million? Uh, we already knew uh, Deontay Wilder wasn't going for the okie doke. He said he wanted a 50-50 split. And um, people had like his news, oh, Wilder turned down $10 million. But how much was the split? You know what I'm saying? People will try to count your, count your chickens before they hatch. Well, how much was the split, people? People kept posting it on, on these, uh, you know, my, my post I did about Anthony Joshua. You know, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for nothing. <laughs> you dig? And that's what Anthony Joshua, I mean, Deontay Water is on. You know, that split was terrible. You know, they said, oh, Deontay Water, you're next. You know, we're ready, but you're next. You, would you really believe anything out of Eddie Hearn's mouth? Of course, he's going to tell you $10 million, but he tell you the split. You know, it's funny as UK fans saying, oh, Deontay Wilder really don't want to fight. Don't nobody want to go over to UK and get lowballed. You know what I mean? Period. Don't nobody want to go into a big fight and get lowballed and sign themselves away and be looking like Kovalev and don't even bring home 100000 versus Andre Ward, probably. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to go through that BS. You know? If they really wanted the Deontay Wilder fight, they'd, comp they'd compensate them better. They'd compromise and not still give them a 20, 25% split. That's just me guesstimating. You know, and that's what it was. He didn't tell you what the split was. He said, we offered him $10 million. Same shit with, with uh, Oscar De La Hoya and Triple G. Oh, we offered him a $15 million flat fee, which it wasn't even a $15 million flat, dollar flat fee. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, y'all people quick to believe these lying-ass promoters like Eddie Hearn. He gonna do anything to make Anthony Joshua look like the, the good and Deontay Wilder look like the dark. Come on, tell me, show me the article where he said he gave Deontay Wilder a fair split. But he was willing to give, uh, he's willing to give Joseph Parker a 30 or 35, uh, you know, split. Weren't, show me an article where he's willing to give Deontay Wilder a 40, 35% split. If, if Joseph Parker getting 35% split, Deontay Wilder at least worth 40% split. Probably more than that. You know, but you don't hear, you don't hear you guys talking about that, the split. You just say, oh, $10 million, $10 million. At the end of the day, um, what's the split? You know, you believe in Eddie Hearn? Really? You believe in what Eddie Hearn say? That's protecting Anthony Joshua? You know, talking about, oh, we're ready. We here for Deontay Wilder. But you're going to have to wait next. Like, nobody got time to be playing Duck, Duck, Goose with, with Anthony Joshua in, in, uh, in the heavyweight division and Eddie Hearn. Because nobody gives a fuck about the heavyweight division. You know, if you guys want to hold it up and, you know, you don't want to fight the best, don't fight the best. You know, we'll move on with our life. We've been without the heavyweight division since 2000, since Lenny Lewis and Vitaly Klitschko fight. We, we, we've we been good without it, you know. We understand that the casual public loves the heavyweight division, but the hardcores, man, we enjoy the middleweight, the welterweights, the junior middleweights, the super middleweights, the light heavyweights. We enjoy that shit, you know. We're not going to sit here and cry and scratch and claw and beg like fucking Joe to see the Eddie Hearn to make this fight happen. You don't make it happen. The world still revolves. Time still clocks on. And we still go on with boxing, period. You know, Deontay Wilder ain't beloved over here in America, so it ain't like you you holding up a potential all-time great in a lot of people's opinion. You know, we just move on and enjoy the rest of boxing. We gone.